Hey everyone, meteorologist Joe Martucci here. I started off our day at Birch Grove Park in Northfield to talk about allergy season. We have some information for you that we want to talk to you about when it comes to this spring and the allergies in where allergy season has been over the past couple of decades. We have Sam Hildebrandt, one of our interns, conducting the interview today. I was there alongside with her, and you'll see that story in the video sometime next week. Let's take a look at what's happening right now here. We are cool today. Temperatures only around 50 to 53 degrees, a little bit below average here. What's going to happen is we're going to get some cooler air as a cold front passes through as we go overnight. And that's going to mean as we go into our Thursday morning, wind chills in the 20s in spots, high temperatures only in the 40s. Here's a look at our future cast with the winds here. Winds coming from the south as we go into tonight. They'll actually pick up a little bit here as we go into the evening as an Arctic cold front comes through. Precipitation really should stay to our north. Can't roll out a sprinkle, but that would be it. But then winds turn and come from the northwest as we go into Thursday here. And then they're going to stay from the northwest throughout the day. And that's why we get some cooler air that comes through. For tonight, we'll be talking about air temperatures that fall from the 40s into the 30s here. But look at those wind chills right around dawn in the 20s here inland over at the shore. The same story as well here. So it's late March. We can still get the chill, of course. But you're going to want the winter gear as you go out the door on your Thursday. Let's take a look at your temperatures for Thursday. Highs will be in the mid to upper 40s. This is a about five degrees below average at the shore, about 10 degrees below average inland. Not much of a sea breeze with that offshore wind. It's going to kick that sea breeze away. Temperatures Friday night. We're going to jump ahead well into the 50s here, if not even 60 degrees. Very mild night. And here comes our next storm that will move on through here. This one's going to develop around midnight with rain. Then it's pretty much a washout for a good part of the morning here. But we do get some clearing as we go into the midday and afternoon. You see some breaks in that rainfall here. Notice those temps too. Well into the 60s. How about some 70s as we go into the afternoon? We'll even break for some sunshine at times, but then we see a line of, this is either heavy rain or thunderstorms to come through. And when you have temperatures in the 70s or at least the 60s here and moist air, there could be the potential for severe weather. That will pass by about sunset. Then we get one parting shot of rain during the evening before we clear out. And then we cool down as we go into our Saturday night. We'll talk about our severe threat and this will update with time here. We are looking for some wind damage. I do believe there'll be isolated problems. Wind gusts even during the day minus those thunderstorms or that heavy line during the afternoon will be in the 50s here. So it will be very windy throughout the day on Saturday and then that will be uh, just even more with any kind of thunderstorm that passes through. Here's a look at our inland seven-day forecast. Big jumps at the thermometer from Thursday to Friday, and even Friday to Saturday. We'll go with the highest 70 inland. Some spots are going to be higher than that. Going to be a little humid as well, so feeling a little bit more like Memorial Day weekend rather than our Palm Sunday weekend. Strong northwesterly wind for Sunday. That's going to put temperatures back down to reality. And we'll stay around seasonable as we go into Monday as well, our first full week of April. A couple of April showers as we go into Tuesday. Show you what's going on on the shore seven day here as I step on out for you here. Let's look at what we have going on. We have 64 at the shore on Saturday, 54 on Sunday. It's another 50-50 weekend. Sunday is the drier of the two weekend days.